school year starts in August, and you may have already started pre pre preparations, but what happens after the school day ends, that's what you have to start thinking about. Reports say that more than 65% of parents with minor children work full-time, leaving millions of children to return to an empty house or on their own between 3 and 6 p.m known as the critical hours. This is a time of day when young people are most likely to commit crimes or be victimized by it. What should you do as a parent? After school programming might be the solution. Darlene Soul, president and CEO of Neighborhood Houses, the largest provider of after school programming at no cost in the St. Louis Public Schools is here with us now to talk about that. And in fact, school starts August 11th. Yes, so this is does. the time to start thinking about after school Yes, uh, parents plans. need to think about it. What, uh, what exactly can, uh, can, can they do now that uh, th they are starting to think about it? Well, parents need to check with the school where their children are enrolled and see if they have an after school program. As you mentioned, I'm proud to say we are the largest provider of after school services with St. Louis Public Schools and we do that at no charge in conjunction with our funder, Arches, and uh, we're very proud to be working with them. But we are able to serve 900 children a day in that program. So most of the schools uh, get out at three o'clock, so the critical hours you speak of from three to six are very important for children um, because they often aren't supervised if they are um, in a family where both or the single parent is working. And um, that is the time where children are bullied, or they can become bullies, or they become engaged in the wrong crowd of people, or gangs come after particularly young boys. Um, it is also a time where teen pregnancies often occur. So by being involved with neighborhood houses, school age services, those children are in a safe, loving environment, and our staff work closely with them to make sure they're involved in a variety of fun and educational activities. This is real important that you get the word out about these sort of services because you went from early childhood education now to the school age services and it does encompass a great deal. This is what will help save the children who are out there on their own so often because parents are working or they're just not there and sometimes uh, aren't involved as they should in raising the children. Absolutely, Tim. Our role at Neighborhood Houses is to partner with, with families and give them the help that they may need in raising their children and preparing them for their future so that they can reach their magnificent potential. And you also provide meals, I understand. Yes, every day after school, a child is provided with a hot meal, some physical fitness and activities, um, and we throw in some incidental learning. They may not realize that they're focusing on their addition or subtraction, but um, that comes with um, also um, character education, mm -hmm. life skills, and life skills isn't just cooking or uh, making a healthy meal at the school age level, it's anti-bullying and how to distinguish between that good neighbor and that not so good neighbor. Is that part of the seven week summer program or is that the, the we're very from that? We're very excited to have a summer program this year. The summer program is actually an extension of the after school program. So um, in addition uh, with working with Arches, who is our funder, we are partnering with three different churches around the city and we are serving 100 children this summer for the six or seven weeks that the children are out. And uh, that encompasses um, swimming lessons every week. We've decided that every child in our summer program needs to leave knowing how to swim. That's a life skill. And um, we have had several children um, that have drowned in this city because of that. Right. Um, and we wanna make sure that our kids know how to swim. Well, let's make sure they know how to get in contact with you for more information and to get uh, involved in and in, in participate in all the programs that you have available. Can you give them that information again for us? Sure, you can go to our website, www.neighborhoodhouses.org, or you can call our main office at 314 383-1733 and we'll surely put any parent in touch with the right staff person to help them. Darlene Soul, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for coming on our show. Oh, thank you, Tim. When we come back, we, uh, we will return and find out where we can get some tips on lowering your utility bills, which is real important 
this time of year and also making your home more comfortable. There's more to come on STL TV. We'll be right back.